Guys, I love Florida. Oh, it's cold, guys. It's Wednesday. It's 9.22. I gotta go pick up a water heater, 50 gallon medium. 4,500 watt elements and uh, make sure I have all the necessary accoutrements to put this guy in and uh, feels good to get out of the house man yesterday I thought I was gonna have some stuff to do but it fell through, which I didn't mind. Guys, you gotta look at this hat, man. I didn't realize it was so fucking tall. This is a, uh, this is a Vietnam veteran's hat. I bought it for my brother, but I never gave it to him. Yeah. So I'm wearing it because I can't find my goofy uh, cancer treatment hat. I really like that one though. It's a lot more comfortable. So I'm wearing this hat today in honor of uh, Vietnam veterans. Oops, get in my lane. Whoa. I'm all over the fucking place. I'm dangerous, man. Johnny's out there, Jackson. Let's get her done. Whew. All right, I gotta go pick up a heater. My truck's a mess. That last job I did with the toilet and the camera and all that, yeah, I got thrown in the back of the fucking truck and I haven't looked at it since. You gotta love being self-employed, Jackson. Nobody telling me what to do. Wouldn't be such a bad thing. It's sunny. Mikey Pipes is out of Florida. The fucking sun came back out. Woohoo! But it's still cold. Hey guys. So I every once in a while, you know, I early on I used to get a lot of comments about me swearing and the way I talk and all this shit. And uh there's a, there's a YouTube channel, it's called Boston Deli, these guys are fucking hilarious, but that's the environment I, ow, the fuck was that, that's the environment I grew up in, man, that's how I talk, that's how they talk, uh, it's who we are, man, it defines us as people, you know, good liberals who swear. Yes, we care. We do. Fucking A, man. Yeah, wicked pisser. Gussie's a wicked pisser. We never said that in Rhode Island, but we, we are fond of the F-bomb. I can tell you that. This is uh, one of these newfangled intersections they've come up with down here in Florida that don't work worth a shit. Reverse flow. Uh, you kind of do a, a zigzag through this place. Unfortunately, it appears that it's wholly inadequate because I was at this, this stretch for like, from here, from the highway, 75. Uh, two, three miles west towards the Gulf of Mexico. The traffic is horrendous, man. At rush hour, you're going to go through at least three, four lights before you get through an intersection. 
but it is what it is. It's just too many damn people in this world. Yeah, let's not kill everybody. Oh, look, the foliage. Oh, maybe that was just a dead tree. Looks like there ain't too many people golfing today. <laughs> the old Teton got bumped. Plumbing this John speaking. Okay. <clears throat> Fucking robocalls. Can you imagine how much time is wasted in the United States every day? People, or even all over the world, of uh, people answering these robocalls. Just fucking ridiculous, man. Stupid, I tell you. It's fucking stupid. Alright, guys. So, I'm at this house to do this water heater. I did put a new valve, shutoff valve on this house. He's got the water on still. Even though the water heater's leaking. And the fucking door's locked. He was supposed to leave it unlocked, man. Alright guys, so uh this guy was supposed to leave the uh he was supposed to leave the garage door open. This side door, and he didn't do that. So I just broke in. Fuck it. You know? I know how to do that. Uh, I don't know where the electrical panel is, but I like turning that breaker off, man. It does have a switch here. I gotta change this valve out. He left me a note. I don't know if that's the heater or me. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna get, get cracking here. I gotta go to the bathroom real bad so guys I just had a fucking IBS attack nobody's home here I think I'm safe I yanked the fucking water like I'm on my tippy toes got my butt cheeks clenched trying to get the tailgate open without squishing out a fucking turd I get in the truck, I move the water heater, I get in the truck, and I think, fuck it, I'm not even going to shut the doors, I got a shit. So I sit on the bucket, take a dump with the doors open. I'm all through, I wipe myself, and I look, and there's a fucking camera right on the fucking door of this garage. It's all on film. Johnny's Plumbing Service. Whew. It's getting tough, guys. I can't see. My eyes is all fucked up. Ugh. I'm going to have to test this guy electrically. I'm sitting on that. <laughs> Goddamn bucket. One of my legs is shivering, going up and down like a fucking retard. I'm a fucking mess. I'm just a mess. I don't know what happened to me.
that don't need to be there anymore. Yep, he's got a leaker. He's got a goddamn leaker because I'm standing in water right there. All right, guys. All right, guys. So this is a, a ream. Changing out a ream with another ream. And uh, I'm just going to reuse this plate. I'm not going to change it. You can't half step plumbing, guys. I left my glasses at home. And my eyes have really got bad, man. I mean, seriously bad. Get this guy pumped down. I, don't, I hope I can get this this valve to work. Shouldn't take long, 50 gallon heater. I wanted to open this door up so that I could bring the heater in, but he's got this garage packed. He's a, uh, he likes these off-road motorcycles. That's his game. This guy's a uh, physical therapist. He was helping me for a while with a torn rotator cuff. Two torn rotator cuffs actually and uh, I'm going to hook them up with this heater unfortunately for me I told them I was going to replace that valve which I think I'm not going to replace it I'm going to tell them hey man that valve is good which it is and I'm going to take these off and I'm going to put them right back on the new heater, man. That's it. That valve's good, man. It stopped the water working. It's not corroded. Uh, it's going to be the easiest heater I ever did. So.
That's all she wrote, boys. She's empty. I gotta confirm that this guy does not have a leak under the slab. He's got copper water pipes. And uh, I'm just not convinced. I just need to check this and make sure that this water heater is the source of this water uh, showing up here. So this guy's nice and empty. Guys, breaking these valves off is great. It gets the water out quick, but I guarantee you, you're gonna have a pile of fucking sludge in your truck by the time you get rid of that son of a bitch. Don't do it unless you have to. What I'm saying. So this guy's got his house maxed out. Every single plug is full. He's bursting at the seams here, man. So I gotta get a good look back here, man. Yeah, it's dry at the wall, uh, so I'm pretty convinced that it's the water heater. I'm going to dry this up. Whoa, Wow. Let me use his towels that he's been using to wipe the water up. So I did tell him I was going to put it in a pan, the new one, and I'm going to do that. I'm just going to cap that. <laughs> That's some goofy looking shit right there, boys. That's some goofy looking shit, man. I'm confident it's this water heater that's leaking. I think. I think I am. Let me get this old fucker out of here. Everything I go to do, the, the hoses have 16 hoses on them. The plugs have fucking 32 fucking plugs in them like that. Uh, everywhere. It's just, it's one of them houses, man. This guy's living. Yes. Yeah, that's still dry. I was concerned about a leak under the slab, guys. These old cotton sweatshirts are really good, man, for getting that water up. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So I'm going to put a cap in this plug. I mean, in this adapter for the heater. Uh, for the heater pan. 
and uh, for listening in. Johnny grunts a lot. Plummet! These 50s are about, about my mat. This is a uh, fucking wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Two pumps and a dump. Water heater. The gaskets look pretty good. I put my finger on them. If they were if they were getting soft or they were bad. Uh, I have black shit on my fingers. Uh, I'm gonna knock a lot of money off for this guy. There's no sense in me doing all that extra fucking work for nothing. I mean, the valve's good. No corrosion on the valve and it's stopped. It's got the water off, so. It's just not as hard as it used to be, guys. You know? How fucking easy was that? Guys, you hear that noise? That's the backflow. Yeah, it's this guy. He needs to get these things certified again and have him fix that. He's got a poppet in there that's not moving. No big deal. But if he uses a lot of water, he's gonna get this hum through his whole fucking house every time. Hose beds and shit. So guys, I'm just hooking this relief valve back up and discharge it outside because it's it's literally right there at the door uh, coming out. Oh, that's that don't look right, guys. got a backflow he's got a backflow issue in here this stuff guys it's great glue I've been using it for fucking 20 years it it's one step you don't need primer 
uh, shake the can real good if it's if it doesn't look fresh liquid medium body don't use it that's all I can tell you hang on I'm trying to get my cutters out of my pocket man So this water heater's all done but the wiring. All done but the wiring. Bam. That's that, guys. No leaky leakies on the connections. Okay, so that relief line comes out right there at the door. I'm not sweating that. That's not a plumbing put. It is copper though. So this floor is, is dry. I'm going to go get some wire strippers, clean up the ends of that whip, and uh, get some new wire nuts, and uh, make sure I've got all the air out of this thing, which I did, I do, because I just saw water dripping out of that relief valve. I'm going to do this uh, this ground over again. <clears throat> it's a little shock wadi manani, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Chakwad. I don't know what that is. French? Or just fucking stupid from Rhode Island. Somebody tell me. Steve, lad, you're French. I gotta say, guys, the only thing French about Steve Lavalonier is his fucking last name. That guy's as Portuguese as the day is fucking long. <laughs> Can't hang around with them Portuguese guys in Fall in uh yeah Fall River. Fucking New Bedford, yeah. The whaling capital of the world, my friends. Okay, so I wanna I wanna cut that. Soon. 
sucker right there. easier than this one guys I think it's a good practice guys to get in to just always work with wires like they're live <laughs> you know is one of these days the motherfuckers might be. That's what I do. I only touch them if I have to. So there we go. I can see there's no, the water's on, the tank's full, there's no water on the floor. Uh, I'm confident that there was no leak under the slab. There's nothing worse than replacing a heater for somebody and they call you back that afternoon and say, well, the floor is still wet. Why is that? Well, it's because I put a, took a perfectly good water heater out of your house and didn't fix the problem. Okay. Definitely needs to get that vacuum. I mean, uh, there we go. He needs to get that that backflow fixed. I don't. I don't work on him. There's a guy who does these communities. He's a real prick. He thinks he's a fucking deputy dog, you know. And if he finds out you touched one of the backflows that has his name on it, he'll try to make problems for you, man. He'll say, you didn't certify it, or blah, 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 even though you fixed it and it's working fine. He fucking thinks he owns these things. So I just avoid it. He called the county on me one time. Because a lady had an issue with a backflow. It needed to be replaced. I didn't want to do it. So I took the shit out of it that was making noise because it wasn't working anyways. And I called the guy. I said, hey man, this house over here I work on, she's got a backflow issue, she needs a new one. I hear some noise, y'all. right here this is leaking hang on guys
Wow. Whoever put this relief line on the last time didn't glue it. Ain't that precious. So the air I was hearing. Wow. It's always something, guys. Gotta be paying attention, man. To everything. Listening, looking, feeling, everything. Brand new, uh, so the air that I was hearing appeared to be, I don't know, let me just make sure everything's tight before I leave here. Okay, so let me glue that, some fucking yuts. Some fucking guts didn't glue the fitting. Don't ever dry fit. See PVC, guys? That's the fucking number one rule. You dry fit, you're gonna be fucking flooding houses. Okay. So the water's back. The water never got turned off, actually. Ugh. So I don't hear any more leaking. I don't see any more. This is the... F I'm visually looking at it. I'm listening. And I'm feeling. And it's wet. Oh, let me get a paper towel. Otherwise known as toilet paper for me. And uh, we'll make sure that this thing's tight, man. any noise guys I don't see anything leaking I'm gonna turn the water on I mean the electric I can hear it cooking I'm going to dry this place up a little bit better because it did get, uh, when that fitting popped off on that relief valve, it got wet. So I got to dry it up real good so this guy doesn't see any water when he gets here and thinks there's a problem. All right, guys. So this is what I call the coup de gras. Look that word up. Coup de gras. The decisive finishing stroke. And I remember that from high school because I thought, wow, that's what that is? When I fucking blow a load all over my belly? Yeah. All right, enough of that. <sighs> coup de gras. Woohoo! Honey, I'm ready to coup de gras. This is not good. They're gonna kick me off. They're gonna kick me off fucking YouTube. All right. Call Johnny Sunshine. Call Johnny Sunshine. 
it's all good man it's safe and it's cheap mikey pipes would have charged i don't know a couple thousand maybe this is what he gets for 50 gallon i'll just say i don't get that <laughs> I like Mikey, I fuck with him. I'm gonna give him a call someday and have a nice chat with him. Uh, I think I can, you know, my he's a smart guy. I mean, there's no doubt. But he's a fucking duck out of water down here in Florida. I can see that already. He'll learn quick. Every, every day is gonna be a learning experience for him, which is great. You got to learn every day, is the old saying. All right, guys, so I'm happy with this. I do need to go get a little plug for that, uh, for that drain. I want to show you something. I spoke the other day about uh, building a little, uh, using a water heater box when you're using your sewer equipment inside the house so this is the bottom of a water heater box and i'm going to do it on my tailgate for you guys so, so you can see do you see these battery packs guys if you if you're filming get yourself one get a long cord you should have last all day Let me throw this heater up here first. She's a leaker. Bye bye, sucker. This will work out good, guys. It kind of keeps it splashing down. This is just the bottom of a water heater box. Put it like that. All right, guys, so this box you can use as a guard around the toilet. You can either uh, leave this like this, or I would prefer to actually get my sewer machine on some cardboard. Leave it like this. Maybe put some rags in there. It's 24, 25 inches wide. It'll fit right over a, a closet. I mean, a, uh, a toilet flange. And it's a good way to, uh, good way to, uh, use your sewing machine inside a house, man. Keep the, keep the mess down, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Hold up. Bada bing, bada boom. Maybe I can take that those little pieces off on the side but anyways I'm all done here guys all right guys Johnny sunshine I'm all good here on this house I took a hundred bucks off for that uh
think I got a dog hair caught in the back of my throat. I know that's gonna get some fucking comments. Yeah! <sighs> dog hair is a condiment in my house. It's in everything you eat. And I think <laughs> My pillows fucking fall on the floor. I pick them up and shake them off, but I think I'm eating dog hair all night, guys. It is fucked up, man. Ooh, Not good. All right, man, I'm all done. I got my money. I got Zeld. He Zeld me. And uh, it's Wednesday. The week, it's hump day. It's hump day. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Check this set out I got. This is a great set of nut drivers. Let me show you what we got in here. While I'm driving down the street, running old ladies over. Check it out, y'all. Long nut drivers, all different sizes, screwdriver bits. It's a great kit, man. And it was cheap. I likes it. Here's the name again. Libraton 915-112. Anyways, I gotta go get something to drink and get this fucking hair out of the back of my fucking throat. Oh, I know what it's like to feel like my well, I was going to say my girlfriend, but nah, I won't say that. Look at this. <laughs>